Hey, hey, Assistant Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports. Uh, welcome back to the Cristiano Ronaldo Junior career mount. How are we doing, guys? Welcome, welcome to the new epi and a new season under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Yes, we're going to be playing for Manchester United. The dream of his dad has come true and we are now playing alongside his dad as well. As you guys can see here, Cristiano Ronaldo, 39 years old, retiring at the end of the season, will play one more season to go ahead and showcase to his kids how to play for this team. He's 84 rated and he will be our backup. Ronaldo Jr., 87 rated now, potential to be special. The Beast himself has joined Manchester United and we have some incredible players to play alongside us, especially in the attack. Jaden Sancho, 91 rated. Bruno Fernandes, 89 rated. Rashford, 89 rated. That is going to be such a good attack. I'm so excited to jump in and play for this team. Yes, I'm a Liverpool fan, but still, this is Cristiano Ronaldo Jr. And I love the kid and I love this series. So you do too. Last episode was the first out of 10 videos. Again, it did so well. Thank you guys so much for the continued amazing support from you. And there was a very, very important question in yesterday's episode and i think this needs to be addressed because i feel like a lot of people kind of tend to forget this um i feel you guys need to understand that at times you have to step back a little bit and talk about the important things in life and this comment right here is coming in from sabali who says the real question is what are biscuits favorite type of biscuits what are they biscuit tell us Ah, you want to know a little bit more about the Bicky man? I get it, okay? Favourite biscuit. And it's an important question, don't get me wrong. The answer has to be a chocolate-flavoured hobnob. Now, you might be thinking, what the hell is this, okay? Now, this is a picture. Do your own research! Anyways, much love. I need to go comb me hair. <laughs> also, in today's episode, we're going to start off with something from Prince, who says, Johnny, please turn on celebration for the opponents and make the matches more fun. I have done that now. Yes, I will be watching the goals, uh, the celebrations of my opponents. At the same time, this will lead to me watching my opponent's celebration in champs and it's also in rivals can't wait for that in ultimate team that's going to be great by the way i am now posting consistently on my second channel starting yesterday basically so if you guys want to please go ahead and support your boy we have over 32,000 subscribers over there link in the description down below johnny sports 2 it's called make sure to go ahead and show some love there i'm gonna be buying an insane team for 5 million coins at uh, coins in today's epi so if you guys want to jump in there do so but let's go back to the place where we belong and it is cristiano ronaldo jr here was a comment from warwick who says, hey, Johnny, if you're now playing as a striker, don't forget to reallocate your skill points to suit that position. Also, new club, new haircut. I think that's a good shout. So let's reallocate the points. Let's see if we can become a higher rated striker than just 87 and see what we can do. All right, I have readjusted the points. I've taken them away from passing and I've put them all on physicality and shooting. And now we are still an 87 rated striker. That doesn't make sense, it says 88 here. So I'm a bit confused, but I have reallocated a lot of things here, which should hopefully help us. I've gone ahead and improved the jumping. He's now on 84 jumping, which obviously is gonna be quite important for the crosses that are coming in. Uh, strength is up to a 79 right now. I, I have also improved the aggression. So we have enabled the bull archetype once again. Defensively, I've taken everything away. Dribbling, I've left a couple of things. I, I mean, I, I still really enjoy the dribbling. So I didn't want to take away anything there because I love it. Uh, passing wise, I've basically taken away everything. I, I could technically take this away as well, but I don't know if it's really worth our time. But then again, I think, I think jumping is more important. So I'm just going to take it away here and apply it somewhere else. Um, in terms of uh, shooting, there are a few things that I would like to improve, especially uh, heading accuracy, but I just don't seem to have enough points to do so. So when going back to the physicality here, we can add reactions, we can add aggression, strength, everything's fine. I guess maybe we put it... Where do I put it? I think I, I put it on heading accuracy. I think I do. There we go. Let's boost that up a little bit more. And let's get another plus four on the heading accuracy, 80 heading accuracy. And what is our jumping level now? We are on, 
Uh, 84 jumping. That should really work. I think it should. Six foot tall with those stats. I think we should be good in the air, guys. And there we go. Now we're an 88 rated striker. All right, there we go. We did it, lads. And enough talking. Liverpool against Manchester United. It's the Community Shield final. Oh, boy. First game, and this is what we have going on. We are coming on as a sub, though. So let's see what the scoreline is. We're coming in at 2-0 for Liverpool. Okay, they have brought in Vlahovic, who is actually a real-life target, apparently. Firmino, no Salah. Not Mo Salah, no Salah. <laughs> and we are coming in for his dad. We're actually... This is incredible. This is absolutely incredible. 11 minutes to go. And we are coming in for Cristiano Ronaldo Sr. Junior is coming on. Number 14 for number 7. Look at this moment right here. That's it. That's all you ever wanted. We are now playing for Manchester United. It's about to go down. A couple of minutes to see if we can have an impact at striker. Liverpool, I am sorry. I love you, but I have to do it to you. Go on. Play it back. Good pass. I see a run. Go on. Bruno. Ah, lads. Come on then, Bruno. I expect a lot more from you. Curtis Jones. Mane, was he not offside? Sadio Mane inside the box. Well done. Great defenders, obviously, in this team now. At this stage, a lot of the, the defenders at, at uh, Manchester United are actually insane. So we love to see that. Are you kidding? Are you actually kidding? Who was that? Who the hell was that that just let Vlahovic run through like that? Liverpool winning 3-0. I have not been able to have an impact on this game. Dean Henderson is upset. Whoever that was needs to take a hard look at himself, man. What the hell is he doing? And also, Dean Henderson, brother. That shot doesn't even hit the side of the netting. It goes into the middle of the goal. Is this going to be my first ever Manchester United performance, man? Getting subbed on for his dad. And now, this is what he's experiencing. Cristiano has an insane team around him. But it seems like Ollie's just as clueless in here as he is outside in real life. Is that a good pass? No, it isn't. Oh, it is. Go on. Go on, play it. Well done. Well done, Cristiano. Cristiano moving inside. Rashford. Rashford sees the run. Oh, we nearly had a goal there. Okay, now I'm going to ask for the pass to be played to me. I don't know where I am, though. I can't see anything. That's a terrible cross from Jaden Sancho. And this game is done. My first ever game for Manchester United is a loss against their arch nemesis. Jurgen Klopp has beaten Ole Gunnar Solskjaer once again. And the Manchester United players are extremely upset about that result. But what am I going to say? I got subbed in with 11 minutes to go. Barely had any chances. The one that I had, I ran straight into Van Dijk. This was not the perfect debut for Cristiano. I can tell you that much. This was a struggle. And this is showing that in this, in this league, we're not going to have easy matchups. Yes, we do have incredible attacking players, but it seems like our defense is extremely shaky as Van Dijk lifts the trophy for Liverpool. We ain't going to watch that. No one wants to see that, apart from Liverpool fans. So I'm going to watch it. <laughs> oh, By the way, I kind of hope that um, Liverpool does actually go ahead and do well in the League Cup. Because they are now through to the quarterfinals, I think. So might as well win it, right? Might as well win it. Congratulations, Van Dijk. But don't tell anyone. I'm a Manchester United player now. I have to force my way into the starting lineup as fast as possible. I am waiting for the training sessions to come in so I can actually jump in and prove myself. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, I can jump in here. There we go. Yay. Well done. I'm still a substitute. <laughs> oh, what? You can't. You can't play me twice against Liverpool. No way. Oh, we're at home now. Oh, this is going to be 5-0, isn't it? We're going to be playing against Liverpool again. Ollie, bro, please stop disappointing, all right? Put some effort into the things that you're doing here. We're going to go ahead and simulate again so we can get subbed on a little bit earlier, ideally. Maybe around the 70th minute, 65th minute. Maybe Ronaldo Sr. is going to be taken off and we come in in the 60-something. We come in in the 60th minute for Bruno Fernandes to play behind 
Marco Royce. We're going to play as a cam. Right as I brought down all my passing abilities. It's fine, though. It's fine. We can do this. There's 30 minutes to go. It's nil-nil at home. Let's try and get revenge for that cup final. By the way, what the hell is going on with our camera? It was lagging there for a sec. Go on then, lads. Go on. Come on there and see what you can do. Let's score. Now, nah, let's get a match rating. Let's focus on that. I think the scoring is a bit too outrageous. I won't be able to pull that off. Good cross. Okay, there we go. Straight up. Play to me. Play to me, goalkeeper. I'm out here, bro. What are you doing? Kick it. Just kick it, you fool. Liverpool again. Shooting. Why is that fullback moving away? I think that wasn't a fullback. Was that Eric Bailly? I'm not too sure, but he's doing some silly things here. And Liverpool might be through. They are not. Okay, so let's move it from the camp position. We got to be controlling the game, right? That's what we need to do. That's if you need me, I'm here. Yes. There we go. Make that run for me. There we go. Oh, lads. What a terrible pass. And that's down to our short passing being brought down to around the 60s. Long passing coming down ridiculously. Vision is awful. I am probably the worst player to play in cam. If you need me, I'm here. Yes. Cristiano. Ooh, close one. The first shot that we have taken in the Manchester United shirt. It was a big chance for us. 10 minutes after we got subbed on. All right, Cristiano gets the ball, passes it across. Marco Royce, that's us again. Marco Royce, he should be playing Cam. I should be playing striker. Everyone playing their position, you know. That's how it should have been. Instead, I'm up against two Liverpool defenders here. Just, I don't know. I tried my best to cut inside and make something happen. I was looking for a passing opportunity, but crosses don't work from that spot. I can tell you that much, especially with me having brought down my crossing stats massively as well. Forget about crossing. I don't know what these lads are doing. Yes, beautiful. Go on. Make your run. Bang! Ah, oh, that's a bit unlucky. Nearly went in, though. <laughs> I saw my teammate to the right. I could have passed it to him, but I, th I feel like testing Alisson from outside the box is uh, probably one of my biggest strengths here. So we got to use that to our advantage. No, Liverpool is through. Bobby Firmino decides to do some skill moves rather than taking a shot. That should have been a goal for, for uh, Liverpool. We get... Oh, okay. Zaniolo comes on now as a midfielder. That's going to be an interesting choice. Hopefully, we can get this away. Yes, we can. Is that going to be me? Yes, it is. Come on. Come on, Cristiano. Use that pace. We still got that pace, right? Trent doesn't have that pace. I know he doesn't. Cristiano against Liverpool. The biggest moment of his career. And again... Come on. And again. Oh, no. I, I saw Sancho at the far side, but the angle was also not correct. But man, in those types of situations, you just get, you just focus on your player. You have tunnel vision and you want to go ahead and score. So I don't know. Maybe it was a mistake from that angle, especially against Alisson. I shouldn't have tried, but hey, it is what it is. Played into our teammate. Marco Royce tries to find us again. He can't do it. Go on then, Saniolo. I see a good run. I see a good run, Marcus. Ah, my passing. My passing is awful. I can't I can't deal with those types of situations. I ain't no cam. Hold on. Marco Royce. Good pass. Shot. Alisson. Huge save in the 90th minute. As we try and get something going. I want this. I want this on my head. Cristiano doesn't get it. And that's the game done, isn't it? Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, it's done. It's a better performance. Don't get me wrong. It definitely is a better performance than a match uh, initially where we lost 3-0. But we did have our chances, especially that left footed finesse shot was so close. But Cristiano has now finished up another game against Liverpool. Both games we couldn't get a win. That just shows how good Liverpool is. And they are definitely going to be a huge rival when it comes down to trying to win the title. But... Let's not forget about Chelsea, about Manchester City. We have some incredible teams that are going to be competing against us for the title, which I don't know if we can do it if we play like this. We'll have to see. I definitely need to be in a starting lineup. So here we go, starting off the Premier League season with only a, uh, a draw against uh, the likes of Liverpool, which, again, isn't necessarily a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. I'll take that. Now, I need to push my way into the starting lineup. I'm getting closer and closer. Brighton is up next. 
And this should be a game in which we actually step up and get things done. I really, really hope we can. Ronaldo Jr., the new hero. Wow. Okay, so that's what they want from us. By the way, I completely forgot. We need to get a new haircut. Yes, new haircut, new team. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. This would look hilarious. <laughs> what is that haircut, man? Uh, I know this is for women, but come on. Imagine if I put this on him. It would look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> It looks amazing, though. Well, here's the new Cristiano. It's his rebellious phase now playing for Manchester United. Yes, we're going all in. He wants to be the player that everyone sees on the pitch immediately. We're going back to the old hair color. But we're going to this haircut, which is going to make him look, I guess, stand out. Is that the way to put it? I think it's going to make him stand out. Let's see if this is going to go well. He has a Jimmy Neutron... <laughs> He has the Jimmy Neutron. What's it called? Mohawk. I'll go with that. I think that's what I'm going to call this uh, little haircut here. This looks ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> so I'm going to try this for a little bit. We are coming on in the 60th minute against Brighton. Ronaldo Jr. comes on for his dad once again. And we're 1-0 up. Let's not mess this up, please. Hermoso Van Bissaka, Bayi Danilo. Bayi plays as a fullback, by the way hate to see that well here it goes playing as a striker new haircut all the cameras are going to be on us cristiano ronaldo has gone from blonde to this now i want to see how it looks i gotta say though i really loved the last haircut that we had with the blonde i think it looked i think it was probably his best haircut so far i've got to admit but hey you guys want a new haircut here you go uh, there wasn't anything else that necessarily looked good. So I just went with crazy. Cristiano, great run. Good pass. Marcus Rashford inside the box. He has my support. Ah, Bruno, Bruno, Bruno. We got to be doing better there. Give it to me. Give it to me. Left foot. Ah, oh, man. He just blocked me there. That's very unfortunate. Go on. Sancho. Rashford. Inside. I move in. Shoot. Cristiano. First goal for Manchester United. Yes. That's it, boys. That's it. Jimmy Neutron has done it. He has... What the hell is going on with the camera? We were behind people in the stadium. Anyways, he has scored his first goal for Manchester United. A huge moment for him quality finish man that is such a good goal hey you know what maybe the new haircut brings luck love to see that great ball cristiano is through right yes he's through come on do it again do it again lads do it again lad yes it's three nil and he does it one more time it's time to dance with our new teammates here we go. Yes. Get in. Love that. Oh, that is amazing. He is already bonding with the players. Jaden Sancho, Bruno Fernandes, Cristiano and Fred dancing alongside each other. Brighton's defense not fast enough to keep up with this amazing pacey player. And you know what? He might have a little bit more pace now because his haircut is so aerodynamic on the sides. That might just be the reason. Oh, God. The next game we have is against Manchester City. Bro, what is this schedule? Liverpool twice, then Brighton, and then straight after it, Manchester City. Hey, the good thing is we are showing our abilities now in these matchups. We are showing that we can be recognized as... A, a starting lineup player hopefully after this by the time we play against man city i hope we can achieve that that'd be great go on i'm through oh that's a great ball that's an amazing ball cristiano for a hat trick as a substitute now nah, let's be nice let's be i wanted to be nice i genuinely just wanted to be nice and be a good teammate i should have i shouldn't have passed that bro what am i doing what am i doing i should pass this though go on ah man I ruined that. Next time I'm not passing, bro. What a terrible pass. I need to I need to learn again that my short passing is awful. And you could see it there again. Even the simplest of passes couldn't play it across. Oh wow, he's going for me. Cristiano, great chest control. <gasps> that was one of the most incredible moves I've ever done in any FIFA. I'm not even kidding. We take it down with the chest. Defender is falling over. The second defender comes joining in. 
He takes it down with his knee, then lobs it up, and then takes it over. Oh my god. That would have been incredible. Imagine if I score this. Bro. Oh my, that was so good. So well played. I hoped I I maybe I, I just had a little bit of a dream to maybe be able to pull this off, but look at that again. The beauty of that moment right there. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, ridiculous. How does he save that? Come on. Come on, play me. I'm on for a hat trick. Play me. I see Rashford though. I gotta be nice about it. I gotta be nice about it. I have to do it. This time it was the right choice. Let's go. 4 0 against Brighton. And we are done with them. Brighton gets demolished. It is Rashford, isn't it? Number 10 should be Rashford as far as I can remember. Amazing volley. He is super high rated. And in those types of positions, we can rely on him for sure. And that is three goal contributions in this game against Brighton. Could have been four if we scored that ridiculous shot. Oh, hold on. Defender making mistakes. Uh, I can't get past him. I tried, though. Good strength, though, from Cristiano. Love that. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. Go on. All the defense is sleeping. Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> yes. Come on. Yes, get in! Unbelievable! The strength and the aggression boosts have paid off. The new haircut has paid off. It's a new Cristiano. He has the abilities of Jimmy Neutron now. He knows he has like the math going on in his head. He's smart. He knows which angles he has to take shots in. That's what he's doing. See? See, that guy had a similar haircut. He tried, but he failed. This is the true one. This is the true Cristiano. Yes, lad. Love ya. Yes, the game is done. What a ridiculous game, man. We come in for 30 minutes and we make four goals happen. Cristiano is the man of the match. He's been celebrated by the away fans. Anyone else will obviously not be too happy with this, but look at that. 10 match rating, three goals, one assist. One of our best performances and especially important due to it being for a new team. There he is with the match ball. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is enjoying Cristiano's performance there. Rashford is dapping him up. Hey, that's, that's what you like to see. The new teammates are already liking him. Everyone is celebrating his great performance here. And Ole is pushing up our manager rating a little bit more. And after a good training session, we could be in the starting lineup for the game against Manchester City. It is going to be a huge opportunity for him to prove himself. I can't wait for that to happen. Well, that puts us up into the fourth, into the third position, guys, as we finish off this one. Uh, we have four points. Also, recently, I've made a couple of, a couple of polls on Twitter and on the YouTube dashboard where I asked you guys, what kind of video length do you prefer? The YouTube side has said, 25 to 35 minutes the twitter side has said um uh what was it F 15 to 25 or i don't know 10 to 20 minutes was it one of those I'm, I'm not too sure which one it actually was i think it was 10 to 20 but nonetheless um i think i'm gonna keep this video a little bit shorter we're gonna test a few things out here see how it does on youtube see how you guys like it if it's a little bit shorter i personally enjoy the long-term videos you guys know me i love i love making those a little bit longer episodes but it can be hard to keep track of it especially if it's daily episodes so i do understand that newcastle with the takeover now first by the way ggs to them well done one thing i want to take a look at is i want to see how Thiago Messi is doing. I want to see how Kai Rooney is doing before we end off this episode because the transfer window was still open. So maybe somehow we can see them move teams. On transfer deadline day, Brighton have spent 140 million on Jimenez, Chiara, and Bolo. Unreal signings. Chelsea have signed Saar, Dumfries, and Matip. Congratulations. Everton spent 168 on Navarro, Getrudia, and Mori. How did they spend so much on those three players? Adeyemi has joined Fulham. That's a massive signing. Gaia has joined Leeds United. GG's Tomiyasu as well. Leicester have signed a couple of players here. Vlahovic, Fabian and Maguire. Harry Maguire has joined Liverpool. Oh my God. Thank you for taking him away from us. Um, uh, Manchester City has signed a couple of good ones. They have signed Varane. Oh no. Man City have signed our best defender. Nah, man. Come on. Why you do that to us? We have signed Hermoso and Emerson. 
So we do finally have an actual right back now. That's good to see. But what, man? Come on. That's a, a little bit disappointing. Spurs have spent 253 mil on Valverde Laporte. What the hell is going on? This transfer window is a madness. Over 1.2 billion have been spent in this transfer window. Everyone is signing players. Can we please see if Thiago and Rooney have changed teams? Please, please, please show me that they have. So Kai Rooney is still stuck. He's still stuck in this team, man. I'm telling you one thing. At the end of Cristiano's career, once I think I want to end this series, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take this, t take Cristiano uh, and retire him, make him a manager. And then I will buy Kai Rooney and Thiago Messi into the same team. Okay, how about that, guys? You like that idea? Let me know if you guys would be interested in that. But let's jump over to Spain and check out Thiago Messi. See if he's gone up to an 84, because if he does, I think he will play a lot more games. So let's see if he has. Thiago Messi now looking at an 83 rating still. But that is going to be the end of today's episode. We have proven ourselves not against Liverpool, yes, but against Brighton. We have stepped up massively and we have earned a starting lineup spot. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Have a great day. Take care and peace.